Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I'm downloading update 203 and this is the update for the Luminaire. This is available either for traditional download on the USB from Brothers website. All you need to do is go to XP1 support for Brother and you can download it. Or if you're like me and you have Wi-Fi, you can set your machine up for auto download. Now, I typically do not leave my machine plugged in while I'm away. So what I do is I plug my machine in and all I have to do is go to the settings page. You can see the settings right here where my cursor is. And then what I do is I go to update manually and I select that. Now you'll notice it's downloading, so you'll get this screen where it's downloading, and depending on several factors, one's your, your Wi-Fi and the speed at which it downloads on your Wi-Fi, but it can also be attributed to traffic. For instance, on the server site, this may take a few minutes to download. It's a, a I would say that it's probably been about two or three minutes that I've been waiting for it to get this far. Now, what we're going to do is we'll let it go ahead and continue this so that you can see what it's like to go ahead and install it because it looks like it's almost complete. So let's just give it another moment or two and we'll see what the process is like to install it the rest of the way. And as I said, all I did was go to settings. I'm on page 12. You can see I have my Wi-Fi enabled and I selected update manually. You'll also see there's an excla exclamation point here and that's showing that it's downloading. Now, it says there's a new update available to install it. Turn off your machine and then hold the automatic threading button, turn the machine on again. So what I'm going to do is to turn off my machine. So let me do that. And now what I'll do is hold the automatic threading while I turn my machine on. And what you'll see is this icon here. And when you see this icon, I want to do this with the Wi-Fi. So I'll go ahead and select Wi-Fi. And now I'll select Load. And you can see that it is saving the upgrade file and it tells me not to turn the main power off. So this may take a while again. Now let me tell you a little bit about the process. Whenever it is updating a file like this, you'll notice that the button will be flashing here. It'll go through green, amber, and red. So expect that. You need to make sure you do not turn your machine off whenever you are doing this. So if you're like me and you live in a, a location where you have thunderstorms, that probably wouldn't be the time to update your machine. And the other thing that you want to make sure of is that this completes all the way across. So let it continue until it's at 100%. So you can see that it is for over 100%. So what does this update include? Well, let's talk about that. It looks like it's basically some enhancements for the snowman and some of that I think is in embroidery and then also in scanning as well. So you can see as it goes through this process, it's doing a countdown and we'll give it a little bit longer to go through it. And the entire time that it's going through this process and counting down, you'll see that the light is flashing again through amber, red, and green. Just make sure that you're, you let it follow this process and you don't turn your, your power off on the machine. So we'll give it a little bit longer. And one of the things that I'd like to mention, if you do use a USB stick to do this, make sure that you use the top slot on your machine instead of the bottom slot. Now I do have a mouse in my bottom slot. 
If you find that it's not working, then make sure, first of all, that your USB stick is completely empty, meaning don't have any other files on it, like design files, and then download the update to that USB stick. Now this is real time and I'm trying to talk to you as it goes goes through this process. You can see that I'm recording and, and it's been about five minutes right now, but actually it was a little bit longer than that because I had to download that file. And you notice when I downloaded the file that I, the portion of that had been completed. So I'm suspecting that the whole process to do this is probably going to take somewhere around 10 minutes. And you also have to understand that what happens whenever it goes through this process, it is com erasing some files and replacing those files with new software. Typically in the past, whenever I've done this, once it gets past a certain standpoint, it, it speeds up and you can see that's happening right now. So hopefully it won't be much longer. We're about six minutes into recording. So I anticipate for most people, it'll probably, like I said, be like a 10 minute process. If you, if you download the file, if it's already downloaded on your machine, it, you'll only need to take as long as it takes to load that software yourself. Okay, we're almost complete. So 88% and we should be about ready to turn the machine back on. And it says 100%. You see that it says that it's complete right now. I'm at seven minutes and 11 seconds. So I said that it took me roughly about 10 minutes because when I did the download, then the download itself took a, a couple of minutes. Once this is complete, you need to turn your machine off and back on. So I'll do that. And you can see when it turns on again and, and it looks like You'll see me as well in the recording. You'll notice that it starts up and we'll follow the, the prompts here. We'll give it a moment. Okay, so this is something that you'll get every time and and you you go through the process of reading these agreements whenever you actually and download the file on your computer. So all you have to do is press close and your screen is uh, ready for you. Now let's go back up into settings. We're going to go back to page 12 you'll see I'm at version 2.03 and it says a new update is installed. So I'm, I'm completed that. So that's all there is to install this new update. And again, what I did, because when I looked at mine, I didn't have an exclamation point there, but I knew that it was available. I have Wi-Fi on and all I did was select update manually and it downloaded that update for me. Again, you, it takes several minutes for it to download it. And then once you download it into, it into basically your machine, then you need to load it or install it. So it installs that new software. So we're now at nine minutes and 21 seconds and this is complete. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks everyone and have a great day.